check this out ODINT NP becomes colored so wherever you come across NP or ODINT they also get colored okay that's about that part and if you want uh, no coloring just keep it as it is not a problem okay and next thing is numbers now if you want the code to ha have the line numbers okay just use the keyword numbers and left stands for left uh, uh oh I think I messed up somewhere um okay so let me undo that okay I get it I get it there should not be any comma np i n uh, um, that's it I guess that's about it so yeah no issues okay now what we do is that let's put the numbers in now if I run this hopefully this should not be an error no error and if you see now the code has numbers along with it not bad right the code has numbers along with it and with now it looks little better now other than that if you want the uh, other option like how ma now this will set uh, how far the line numbers have to be stretched away from the code okay so if I set this to 5 point okay you see the five it actually makes the codes appear numbers appear closely and if you want to set the number style okay this style is used for setting the number style it say it sets the uh, number number style to be tiny and the color to be my gray okay uh, if I use that the numbers will become tiny and they become gray like the slight gray and if you want to have a rule Right. what happens is that the frame box may change in line breaks okay and what happens is that this rule color the line that is used for the box it is set to black and if I were to set this to let's say yellow no, no. let me set this to red so let's see what exactly happens you see now this rule color will set the box color to change okay uh, so let this be as it is it looks okay now uh, okay let me other things are just uh, not so important so let me just go through show space is, is used for scoring uh, is used for s showing the spaces okay not a pr not a problem okay uh, okay and now uh, it also this is used for showing string spaces there are spaces in the strings if you run if you run this you see this is actually a string and the spaces are shown with uh, kind of a and kind of a bracket like symbol under the bottom inverted okay now if you look around this see now when the show string spaces are false the spacing over here in these places they're missing that's because of this and similarly if you want to show tabs you can set them to true and if you want the step number like how many uh, how many lines uh, how many uh, this is used for actually set, uh, setting the stepping between the numbers stepping between the numbers of uh, line numbers if it's two the numbers will repeat in, sp in intervals of two so if you have if you zoom this little more you see the numbers are like one then two is missing and then three and then five seven nine eleven so on and so forth okay that's about it and then the string style now this is actually used for setting the style of the string I set this to be color my mouth okay which I run this now the strings are colored pink my mouth is some kind of a pinkish color if uh, pinkish color and now if you want the tab sizing I can set the tab sizing to explicitly 4 here I'm setting that otherwise it may have some other default sizing and finally the title uh, if we include this the title of the file name will come over here this LST name actually puts the file name of the uh, input listing at the bottom so if I run this so you see this one it's over here okay and that is your exhaustive explanation of how to use list styles now you might see uh, it might look like this now uh, what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to keep it uh, keep all of this as it is but I'm just going to cut all this and paste it at the top now paste it at the top uh, of these so that the entire document is complete entire document is complete 
and your code becomes like this now if you have to open this in a separate PDF file okay you see this is where we use the web atom environment and it's okay the font is fine but there's no coloring and everything okay now this is where we use the, our listings environment where we printed the same code but if you see the fonting is different the coloring uh, col the coloring is different all the lines are different and everything okay just the repetition of that with the title and stuff now how interesting how good is that when compared to this how to bore uh, this is a little boring whereas this is the same code with proper formatting now this is this looks much much better and different isn't it so that's about it that's about it that's the difference you get and if uh, let me just uh, fit this to page fit this to page you can see how different these are okay well that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial uh, thank you guys for watching and in the next tutorial we'll see uh, how to make uh, how to make bibliography files okay and that is that becomes very much useful for uh, including papers journals or giving any references or external citations and all okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time